This is one of the, the delicate balances of organizing, of figuring out what pillar is vulnerable, but also strong. I'm right now at The Hive in Vancouver doing direct action training and getting prepared to break free from fossil fuels. This is an action to demonstrate, again, that we need to stop fossil fuel extraction, that we're going to take to the oceans and block the pathway. We're talking a lot about having good strategic planning, making sure that our actions are effective, things that people feel comfortable joining, and to know that they're making a real impact at the end of the day. We have to be the ones who are standing up, actively participating in protecting our futures and in defending our land, standing in solidarity with the frontline fighters such as the indigenous peoples. I think young people, they have a consensus that you know we have to change the way we're headed, um, and there's also a lot of excitement on how to do this. It's really the time for us to stand up with people around the world and say, this is the moment, there's no more time, our oceans are dying, our climate is suffering, we're seeing the catastrophic impacts of climate change, and there is no, well, I'm gonna get involved tomorrow, it's really time to stand in solidarity today. There are gonna be folks that stay a little bit further back, and then there's gonna be people who cross that line saying, I'm willing to put my body on the line to protect our climate.